Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good evening, wherever you are in the world watching this. If you're watching this on a satellite or on the Internet, let us know where you're watching from. You can always email us, hello at asapchurch.com. If you're watching this through Facebook, you can send us a comment, like, share, or subscribe. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel because that's where you get all of your brand new content that we have for you. And it's going to be a blessing for your life. We love you. Uh, this is Pastor Michael from ASAP Church, ASAP Church in Tampa, Florida. We love you. And we're just doing these broadcasts because we want the Word of God to cover the earth like the glory covers the sea the same way. And listen, uh, this is very important that you dig into the Word of God with us. I love you very much. And right now we're in a brand new devotional series <clears throat> talking about the promises of God, the promises of God. And we looked at the scripture that says in Christ Jesus, all the promises of God are yes, and they are amen. Amen. They're yes and amen. God will never say no to you about one of his promises. He will always say yes and amen. I agree with you on the promise of God. So right now we're going to get into one of those promises uh, one of those promise scriptures, and I want to really encourage you today to hold on to Jesus. Here we go. Isaiah 59 and 19. The title of today is Flood Out Your Enemy. Flood Out Your Enemy. Isaiah 59 and 19 says this, When the enemy shall come in, like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall raise up a standard against him. And what does that mean? That means when Satan comes in, you have a promise from God that God will stand up on your behalf and fight for you. Now, have you ever experienced a flood before? Have you ever experienced a, like a flash flood like here in Arizona uh, or New Mexico? All of a sudden there can be a flash flood come out of nowhere and wash you down the road, even in your car. Uh, right now, our property here in Tampa, Florida, we just came through that small tropical storm, but it did dump a lot of rain. And there was uh, our whole property was like flooded. You couldn't even see the grass on top because the water was so high. And it, it, sometimes it's like a flood raging down the street. And sometimes we read the scripture and we think the enemy's coming in like a flood. But the truth is, when the enemy comes in, God comes in like a flood and raises up a standard to block what the enemy's doing in your life. Like a flood, the Holy Spirit will rise to the occasion of the need in your life. He flushes out. The Holy Spirit takes that water of the Word of God like a flood and washes out all the unnecessary things, every nook, every cranny, under the doors, under the windows, devils trying to hide, but the flood of God washes all of them away. That's why it's important to have the word of God in your heart. It, it's like a standard. It's like a wall of water. When the enemy comes in, it just overtakes him, pushes him back, and some of you need healing in your body. What you need is to take this word of God in, in, in all the healing scriptures, and that water level will rise, 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 rise. And then like a flood, it'll wash out that enemy out of your life in Jesus' name. Uh, the New International Version says it like this. For he will come in like a pent up flood that the breath of the Lord drives along. The breath of the Lord will drive Satan like a flood out of your life. Drive devils out of your life. Drive strongholds out of your life. The, the breath of God will drive like a flood out of your life in Jesus' name. Man, that's a good promise. That's a good promise that you can stand on today, especially if you're going through a dark time, if you're going through a situation. And I know I'm speaking to the whole world right now. There are some dark days right now in the world. But what we have to do is not look at the dark days, but we have to stay firmly rooted in the word of God, that like a flood, he will raise up a standard and wash that thing away in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
The standard is the lifted up Jesus Christ. He's the standard. He will wash away everything that tries to distract you and tries to hinder the promises, the blessings of God coming into your life. So the next time your enemy tries to come in and tries to make your life dry, tries to take from you, tries to steal from you, tries to kill from you. Oh man, pull out this scripture, Isaiah 59 and 19, like a flood. God is going to wash that devil out your life. Like a flood, God is going to stand up on your behalf. And you just got to trust him. Put your faith in him. Get out your scriptures. Start speaking in tongues. Confessing the word of God. And you watch God wash your enemy right out of your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say with me. Flood him out, God. Flood out my enemy. Flood out my enemy in Jesus' name. I believe. I believe you're coming in like a flood right now to wash out my enemy, to take over in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but you need to lift up your expectation to God. David said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help cometh from the Lord. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. Sometimes you just got to go outside, lift up your eyes and say, oh, God, you're bigger than this storm. You're bigger than the struggle. You're bigger than the situation. And like a flood, the Lord will bring your enemy to, to its knees. He will wash him right away from your life in Jesus name. Hey, I hope that's an encouragement to you today. I hope that's a blessing to you today. I love you. Have the best day of your life, the most blessed day of your life ever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.